My name is the Primogen, and I have been using Vim for about eight years, and of those eight years, three of them were spent in IntelliJ. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. <laughs> Why did you have to tell them that? How I learned how to become efficient at Vim is to start off actually using very few movement keys, and then slowly only incorporating a few more every couple weeks, so that as I learned more and more, I became faster and faster and faster, and I developed the ability to really just move quick because i personally i just don't do well if you if you were to hand me 50 movement keys now i would have not done nearly as well as only learning like say 10 to begin with and then layering on another four another four another four so this video right here is going to cover these moves if you're already completely familiar with those and you don't even have to think to use them then you can just go to the next video and i remember when i first started using vim i felt so confused and so if you're in that position, I'd like to kind of help you walk through going from knowing nothing about Vim to being very effective with Vim. So I'm gonna put together a six part series just to go from nothing to something very, very creamy, smooth and covered in coconut oil. So let's do this. This is video one of learning Vim, baby. So when I first started using Vim, I didn't just jump right into using Vim. I actually used the idea IntelliJ plugin. I recommend you starting there also. Just start with the plugin, get familiar with some movements. So when you jump into Vim, you're not just completely lost. To start using Vim, you only need to know a few commands. This will be the hardest part of your learning journey because this is the initial part. The initial part is always the hardest. So let's just dive right in. The foundational movements you need to just simply get good at is gonna be J and K to move up and down, and H and L to move left and right. To get good at those, it just simply takes time. So you gotta just, you cannot rely on your arrow keys. You have to start there. Obviously hopping over by L is very inconvenient. That's why you need to learn W to hop forward by a word and B to hop backwards by a word. So those are the six movement keys you just simply need to start with. Now you want to keep using them until you feel very proficient. So when you think about jumping forward by a word, you don't have to think, okay, I should press W, I'm pressing W now. Instead, you should just simply press W, 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 right? It should just come naturally. So there's only a couple editing commands you now need to know. Y, Y will yank a line. If I press P, I will paste that line one line below. If I press D, D, I will delete that line. If I press U, I will undo my last command. Now remember, with deleting, Whatever you delete goes into the same register as your yank command. So if I press DD and delete this line, if I were to repress P, I now start pasting this line over and over again. Now I could just simply undo, undo, undo to get these lines back out, right? So I could undo, undo, undo. But let's just say you need to delete, say, this entire function. Well, you could do DD, DD, DD. Mm, you know, that's not that great, right? Instead, what you can do is you can do Shift V. This will highlight a line. Now, remember I told you to get good with H, J, K, and L? If you just start pressing J, you will just keep on highlighting, right? So this is called visual line mode. When I press Y, I would yank all of this text and save it off to a register. If I press D, I will delete all that text and save it off to a register. So if I press D, you'll see that I deleted it all on you know, U to undo it. There's also one more visual mode you need to know about. If I press lowercase V, it will not highlight the whole line, but just simply where I'm at. And if I press W, I can start highlighting some portion of this individual line. If I start pressing J, I'll start highlighting as I go down. So now if I were to yank that, I'd yank starting at get empty lines all the way down to game buffer. I go up one and press P. I'll repaste effectively everything I just got done highlighting. Of course, at some point, you probably want to edit some text. So I goes into insert mode. And now at this point, you can just type all you want, right? It will just act like a regular text editor that you're used to. On top of that, when you want to leave, you can use one of three options. You can press escape. A second approach is that if you go into insert mode, you can leave it by pressing control C. I personally use this one, though it does not work in all cases. One last way to leave insert mode is control open bracket. It's a little bit better than control C. It actually has some reasons why it works better, but we'll get into those later. If you ever get confused what mode you're in, most editors should have down low, whether you're in normal mode, which is your movement mode, I mode, insert mode, or V for visual mode, which is the one where you press W and B to be able to move around, or shift V, visual line mode, which is where you can only highlight lines at a time. 
you should be able to see what mode you're in by looking down in the bottom right hand corner and if you don't get that you'll just kind of have to remember where you're at in visual mode you can move around you can do the exact same movements but using delete or gang so if i were to do delete word i'd actually delete starting from my word and forward if i did dj i would delete my current line plus one down and of course let me undo all those you can do the exact same thing with yanking so if i do yank word yank j you can see that i'm yanking either my word or my current line plus one below Finally, you gotta know how to save a file, right? So colon W. If you do that, you've now just written your buffer or saved your file. So that's it. That's what you need to start with. That is what I started with. I used those simple keys nonstop until they became second nature. And then I learned the next wave of commands to make me faster and faster. I would expect to spend about a week just using these until they're just completely second nature for you. My name is The Primgen. I hope you enjoyed this. Just take your time, learn these movements. This is where I started. This is where a lot of people start. We'll keep on adding more and more commands. And by the end of this, you'll have like a hundred different movements and text editing commands. You'll fly like a wizard. You mean like Harry Potter? Don't you ever say Harry Potter again. Oh my goodness, the dogs again. I'm gonna feed you a nice meal. Stop it, dogs. Take you on a walk. I'm gonna throw a ball for you several times. You keep it up, dogs.